My name is Six Fig Stock Trader here from YouTube. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about transactions per second and why it's so important that your project is able to meet the needs of growing demand as time goes on. So this video isn't out there to shame any crypto projects, anything like that. I'm very pro crypto project as long as it is solid. And I do believe that in the future, the cryptocurrency world will just kind of be like it is today. We got the top 100. We've got a lot of other blockchains that are trying to knock the top 100 or whatever that number is off the pedestal. It's kind of like the automobile industry or clothing line industry. We got all these great brands that really suit individual needs differently. So I do understand that the transactions per second might be okay for one blockchain and might not be okay for another blockchain. So I just want you guys to know that I understand the difference. And this is just a video showing you how transactions per second are is very much a thing when it comes to growth and long-term sustainability when it comes to crypto projects. Because the last week I've been studying the last one or the top 100 crypto projects. And I have to say that I am very concerned to say the least. And I think that 90% of these projects are going to become irrelevant simply because they cannot grow with demand over time. So let's get into this little infographic and we'll talk about current industry standards and why they're so important. So let's get into this. So welcome back to the channel, everyone. As you guys could see from that little infographic, the top winners were really Near, Cadena, and Definity's Internet Computer. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more of the industry standards and why it's so important and why I think that it's crucial for you to understand, A, if your crypto project 
can scale its transactions per second if needed on command or if they are scaling ahead of time to prevent network congestion, things like that, because we saw the problems that happened with Bitcoin. The Lightning Network was created to relieve congestion, but it was done so after the fact. We can see Ethereum is currently struggling with heavy loads of traffic and heavy gas fees. So when we look at long-term sustainability, Ethereum's current business model simply is not working well. This is not a bash on Ethereum. This is just pointing out what the obvious. So why do we need transactions per second to increase over time? Well, if you want to grow, you're going to need to do it. Imagine Jeff Bezos trying to run Amazon, 16 million packages a day. He needs to ship from his garage in his little suburban house. That's just not going to work at all. He'll have packages lined up for miles and miles down the street. There's just simply no way that will work. And so we're going to start to see this congestion happen to each one of these cryptos, possibly, if they lack the ability to scale. Now, when we talk about industry standards, I wanted to really pick on uh, Amazon. I wanted to pick on some of the credit card uh, providers, and I wanted to pick on the New York Stock Exchange, but in a good way. So when we look at Visa, Visa handles approximately 1,700 transactions per second. That is incredible, to say the least. And it can scale to 24,000 transactions per second if needed. We're thinking Black Friday, around the holidays, things like that, when people are really using their cards more and more. MasterCard sits comfortably at 5,000 transactions per second, and that's fine and dandy. The moral of the story is Visa has the ability to flex its transaction per second at will. This is going to be necessary for cryptocurrencies. Now, when we look at Amazon Cloud Services, I was really blown away and very impressed at the volume it can handle. Currently, Amazon Cloud Services handles about 500,000 transactions per second, and it can flex up to 1 million. So this is very important, and it's no wonder why Amazon is ranked number one, because they are preemptively solving the problems of congestion before they even happen. Now, another thing, folks, that I want to talk about is a New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, which facilitates 6 billion transactions per day or up to. Now, you got to keep in mind that the NYSE is only open 13 and a half hours a day, pre-market, regular market, and after hours. So this really breaks down to about 444 million transactions it facilitates per hour. And that breaks down even further into 7.5 million transactions per minute and this breaks down even further to about 123,000 transactions per second. Now in all reality folks it really seems like the threshold for transactions per second is caught up somewhere between 24,000 transactions per second to 123,000 transactions per second on and upwards to 500,000 to 1 million. So these seem like the Goldilocks zones for transactions per second at this point in time, April 2022. But we're talking about 15, 20 years from now, what's going to be relevant? Is your blockchain going to be able to scale? Is it able to scale? Are they willing to scale to avoid congestion issues? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys all on the next one.